Swami Vivekananda, before the end of his life, wrote a couple of letters where he said, it's bad for a preacher to be young. Don't you think so? I do, as I did all my life. People have more confidence in an old man and it looks more <coughs> venerable. And earlier in 1897, when he was just 34, he wrote, I feel my task is done. At most, three or four years are left. And in 1902, he passed away at the age of 39. Now what I understand from all this is that we are never too old or too young to do anything or everything. Today, when I talk to you about the theme Growth for All, I do not want to typecast subjecting it to the models by subjecting it to the models of economic development or for that matter, eradication of poverty through equal table distribution of wealth or education for all at grassroots levels. It is definitely uh, important to keep all these factors in mind when we talk about Growth for All. But I would like to talk about from an individual perspective, how growth has actually been accelerated in me. We can't talk about all till the time we don't talk first about ourselves. So first, we have to talk about ourselves before we talk about all or any other wider concepts. So I'll begin sharing my life experiences and stories which highlight the growth and how it got accelerated in me. I truly value the importance of good education as I was fortunate to have one, but it didn't come easy to me. I wasn't an early bloomer. Coming from a Punjabi medium school, miles away I was sent to a boarding school in Missouri, where the sole medium of communication was English. And the biggest communication barrier which I faced was speaking in English, communicating in English. As a result, since I could not communicate in English, this affected my personality and performance. And I ended up being in class 5 for three consecutive years in 1997, 1998 and 1999. Teachers also went ahead writing this in my report card that Nitin is handicapped due to the lack of English skills and promotion at the end of the year is difficult. Now, experiencing such a situation at a tender age of 10, it's a big challenge. You must be wondering how did I clear in my final attempt. I almost ended up doing a graduation in class 5. What I used to do is, I used to memorize and have standard answers for all my questions. I never understood the meaning of what I was being taught. And I didn't want sympathy at that time. I wanted someone to just sit with me and teach what tenses were, what conjunctions, adjectives, nouns, pronouns, what they meant to me. Nothing at that moment. Because no one was teaching me. I had flair for arts. I could relate to images, pictures, paintings more than words. And one afternoon, one of my teachers realized that I'm a good artist. So she picked up my painting and she pasted it on a bulletin board. And she announced in the entire class that Nitin is going to head the next bulletin board competition. And in those days, when we were in class 5, it used to be a big thing, you know, competing with, used to have the inter-class competitions. And I won my first competition for the first time. And that's how I started getting appreciation for my art. My teachers were the first one to realize that potential which I had in me. <coughs> Things moved on. I reached class 7. I could speak in English now. Uh, because my dad left me for three consecutive years. And we used to have three months vacation at the end of every year. So for three consecutive years, I was left with a teacher in Dehradun, where I was taught English. His wife spoke in English. The little kids spoke in English. To an extent, 
extent even the dude wala who came to their house also spoke in english and you'll be shocked to hear they had a dog called jenny she only followed her instructions only in english so i was bound to learn english so that's how i picked up with my english and once i reached class 7 i realized that i can even step into theater it was the first time in my life i was given a 32 page script by my house captain on which it was written learn it or get dropped and this was just given to me before my summer vacation i reached home and i told my mom you know these people have given me this 32 page script what should i do but what was hurting in my mind all the time was learn it or get dropped and believe me in those next 15 days i ended up learning the entire script line to line everyone's part not just my part i came back participated in the auditions finally got through and eventually won the best actor so by i class 7 i had realized very clearly art and theater were two things which i could take forward in my life in spite of whatever i was in english i stepped in class the first time i realized that i could write a book because i felt the biology curriculum which was given to me could have been presented in a much more systematic manner so i approached a publisher and i asked him what are the qualifications required to write a book and he said because normally you know when you open a book you open any book you have the author's name and below that you have those fancy designations like phd msc ba be god knows what all most of them i have it now but then at that time before writing a book i just thought to myself do i need to get all these qualifications to write a book so i approached the publisher and he said all you need is capability and potential and that is what i was looking to hear from him so in class 7 uh, in class 11 being a commerce student i ended up writing a book and the book was used by most of the schools in and around masuri things moved on and i reached my college life and i was luckily i was very fortunate to have admission in one of the prestigious colleges in delhi university where i pursued my economic honors and due to my ability of theater and art i got a seat through an extra curricular activity quota in spite of my good percentage and during my college days since i was part of the dramatic society i was given a character of a eunuch and the character's name was anarkali it's a famous play of mahesh tatani seven steps around the fire so we adapted that play into a bilingual script and we worked on it this was the first eunuch i met in my research and i actually got very close to her her original name is sham and she hails from aligarh now her name is saloni so when i was going and meeting eunuchs i met around 60 to 70 eunuchs in delhi before i stepped on stage to act the role and she was one of the closest to me because it was her life which i wanted to depict through my acting skills the jadas face immense discrimination in asom mistreated they are used as sex workers so this aspect i wanted to highlight through theater so now by graduation i realized that i could use my theater and acting skills and art for social change and it was my first one of my first character which actually got it mean to public to me now before i proceed i would like to enact out that moon law which is very close to me and depicts her life story this is me when i was this is group of eunuchs all my friends all are guys don't worry and me on the extreme end i actually before i went on the stage i actually traveled with them in dt buses visited their houses where they stayed and interacted with them 
from different places, all of them from different places. So before I proceed further, I would like to enact out one monologue which has been written. Such a work was to 
promote eco-friendly artwork and at the same time give a message to the society how art can be even looked by another few workshops which I conducted to sustain my family. This is basically depicting corporate life. I ended up making, when I was in the corporate world, I ended up making videos for the corporate world where I highlighted the real stories how corporate consultants, analysts, directors, though they all sound okay, but from within, but from within, what they face. So I ended up making a few videos. And these videos went around the entire India and it was showcased in different cockpits. Now before I end, I would like to share a couple of things. We all should be like candles. First, light ourselves. And then, the same candle lights others. If you are an inspired soul, then only you can inspire the society. And that's how change begins. It is very important for us to dig into the past. As I realized that art and theatre were there with me when I was young. And I used these two platforms to actually support me whenever I wanted. So for an individual growth, you need to dig into your past. Like, a farmer who plants a seed, does not leave the seeds, seed and he goes off. He comes again, he nurtures it, he waters it. And that's how it grows into the plant. Similarly, we also need to be nurtured. We need to dig into our past. We need to introspect our past action. If I would think about my life, I could have given it up in class 5 when I failed twice. But it's very important for us to be determined. We all should have determination like a mirror. Even though it shatters into pieces, it does not lose its ability to shine or reflect. Before I just leave, I would want to share this quote with you. For what it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case, too early to be whoever you want to be. There's no time limit. Stop whenever you want. You can change or stay the same. There are no rules to this thing. We can make the best or the worst of it. I hope you make the best of it. And I hope you see the things that startle you. I hope you feel the things you've never felt before. I hope you meet people with a different point of view. I hope you live a life you are proud of. If you find that you're not, I hope you have the strength to start all over again.